Wolf got Benton. Good. Yeah, it ain't good. Benton got the wolf. Hey, wait a minute. What are you talking about? They were fighting on the cliff. Benton fell off and dragged the wolf with him. Must have killed the both of them. Well, we got to see about that. Hey, Dirk. Yeah? We're pulling out. Trigger and me will meet you at Daggett's. Why? What's the matter with the wolf? Well, Trigger says he's dead. I'm going to find out. You guys hightail to the hideout. We'll meet you there. Come on. I get the fight is over for sure. They've all run away. Why don't you stick your hat up and find out? Why don't you stick your own hat up? My hat's a good hat. One more hole in and fall apart. What's the difference? What's the difference? Gringo, Cara, Sandia, my hat is a good hat. You know, I look like yours with a broke hat. Are you going to stick your hat up or not? If anybody wants to stick their hat up, you're going to stick their hat up yourself. We'll see about that. Oh, we'll see about por qué, mi sombrero, mi sombrero, what are you doing? Oh, your sombrero, your sombrero, your sombrero. Well, they, now the two hats they have went. Yeah, but they ain't. <laughs> Where's Jim? He just went up on the hill to pull the wolf's fangs, and from the looks of things, he's doing all right. Well, I'm worried about him. You're worried? Jim told me just before he left here, if I ever get back to here alive... Now, look, Tombstone, this is no time for quibbling. Hey, what's quibbling? Quibbling? I don't know. Come on, let's get out of here. As near as I can figure it out, they'd ought to hit the water right about in there. Yeah, hold him. I'll give a look. Well, Jim, where in the world have you been? Looks like you sneaked off to take a bath with your clothes on. Get the wolf? You don't have to worry about him, but his gang may come back. We better get out of here. You can't move that last wagon, the axle's busted. All right, leave it here. We'll send out a new one from town. Wolf, Trigger told me you were a goner. Not yet. What happened to Benton? Got away. I don't hear any shooting. Oh, uh, there were too many of them. We had to quit. Where are the rest of the boys? I told them to meet us at the hideout. Getting back to the wolf, you can't make me believe he cashed in his chips without me seeing it. Oh, you won't take my word for it, eh? Nope, I got a hunch. Well, I'll give you a 10 to 1 your hunch is wrong. I'll just take 40 bucks of that. It's a bet. Let's win! Yeah. What do you mean, 40 buckets? Whoa. Yeah. Trigger just told me something I think you ought to hear. Let's have it. I think you're getting a double cross. Why? It's about Kirby. Trigger heard Kirby tell Davis that they're cutting you out. Looks like your 50-50 deal is off. That right, Trigger? Every word of it. Good work, Butch. I won't forget this. Well, that's the way Kirby wants it, is it? That's the way he'll get it. Come on in here, fellas. I want to talk to you. Just want to tell you, I'm calling a new game. From now on, I'm playing a lone hand. What do you mean? I'm declaring Kirby and Davis out. What are you aiming to do? I'll tell you in a minute. Now, anybody who don't want to follow my lead, he's welcome to cut out right now. Well, I'd like to know what stakes we're playing for. All right, the stakes are high, and the payoff to you men will be plenty. That's good enough for me. Oh, All right, right. All right. now here's the play. We're going to let Benton get that over into Panamint. Yeah, but we've got to hurry. I'm doing the talking. When he gets into the smuller, we take it over, smuller and all. Yeah, but how about that money that Davis has got in the bank? We're taking over the bank, too. And anything else in town that's worth taking over. Oh, yes. That's good. No, when do we you... start? Pronto. Butch, you hightail it for Salt Creek. Get as many men as Slate can round up. Duck, hightail it for Badwater Wells. We'll meet at Pyramid Rocks. Rusty, I want you to look over the horses. Oh, the horses are going to be in shape. Come on, Mac. Hello, 
Mr. Wilson? How do you do, Miss Morgan? Well, is the stuff in yet? You betcha. Three loads of high grade right outside the door, and the fourth will be in as soon as we get an axle. The assayer's report will be ready in about an hour. Fine. Send it over to the bank. We'll be there. Bye. Now that the wolf is finished, everything is chili con carne, yeah? Now we're going to celebrate. How are you going to celebrate? Well, I'm going to buy myself a nice new sombrero, some new clothes, and then I will be a very pretty fellow. You know, it's too bad you can't be a pretty fellow too, no? Well, if I want to doll myself up in all them fancy duds, I'd make you look like a plug peso. <laughs> Who you telling me? <laughs> All the clothes in the world is he can't make you a pretty fellow with those face. Well, the only way I can celebrate is to get drunk. Y that's right. You don't have to have a pretty face to get drunk. Mm -mm. Huh? Ah, you chili picker. Well, let's win. Come on. Get some pulque and some tequila. I know the place in the corner is pretty good for me. Come in. Hello, Richards. Are you bringing good news? So good, I'd like to have a hunk of that ore myself, Judge. I don't blame you. Jim, your note to Kirby is as good as paid. Are you sure you have enough gas? More than enough. It's coming in from Purdue. Enough to pay Kirby and finance the operation of the mine. Well, that is good news. Richard, I'll go back to the smeller with you. Right. I'll wait here for you, Jim. All right, all right. Uh, One of the men at the smelter told me the ore Benton brought in was worth over $50,000. You think the bank has enough money to advance Benton on that ore to pay off my note? Not if I draw out what I've got in there. I'll do the same. We can keep it right here in my safe. Which will give us a chance to close in on Benton. Coming in to see you. Good morning, Miss Morgan. Good morning. I'll wait for you in your office, Judge. If you want to see me about Benton Snow, don't worry, Kirby. You'll get your money in plenty of time. Well, it isn't only the money, Judge. I'm drawing out all my cash. I'll take care of that. And all the money any of your close friends have in the bank. When? Just as soon as the stage gets in from Purdue. Most of his men rode out of town. Kirby and Davis are taking all the money out of the bank and putting it in Kirby's safe. I got six men from Badwater Wells. They'll meet us in town. Good. Now we're moving in. Rusty, you'll take over the bank. Right. Butch and I will have a little talk with Kirby, and we'll all take over the smelter. Come on. Well, Mary? How does it feel to be the owner of a mine? Well, I'll tell you, Judge. It feels like a lot of new hats and a lot of new silk dresses. Rusty, you know what to do. I wish Uncle Charlie we could enjoy all this. I imagine Chuck a would be mighty happy to have you. The wolf is alive. What are you saying? The wolf. He's outside. Mary, Jim's got to overtake that stagecoach before it reaches town. Don't worry. Hold it. Howdy, Judge. I come to tell you this ain't your bank no more. The wolf and his gang are at the bank robbing it. The wolf? Yes, and you've got to stop that Purdue stage before it gets to town to him. There's a hundred thousand dollars on it. Thanks, Mary. Come on. The wolf? What'd you get here? And at the bank is just chicken feed. I can let you in on something worthwhile. Open that safe. What are you doing this for, Wolf? I thought we were partners. I thought we were. Come on. Don't you do it, Kirby. Be bluffing. I am, huh? Yes, you are. Everything on the desk. 
What is it you're going to let me in on? Put out the gun, Wolf. Sure. Let's have it. Stage from Purdue. He's bringing $100,000 to the bank. Graham, the messenger's in charge. How do you know that? Judge Knox told me. That's fine. The wolf. You're crazy. The wolf's dead. You're crazy. He's alive. He's waiting in Panama to take over the stage. Take over the stage? Smokey, see if the wagon gets through. Come on, man. Let's win. Under the... Listen, Graham, you're carrying $100,000 this trip, aren't you? Yes. Well, do you know that the wolf is in town waiting to take it away from you? The wolf? Well, I heard he was dead. Well, he's not. What do you think I'd better do? Well, if I were you, I'd grab that dough and pile out of the stage and stay right here. All right. Stage is heading into town. Good. Get a hold of Butch. Tell him to plant the mountain like I told him. All right. Get off the street. Mr. Graham. Driver, where's Graham? I don't know. Watch him, Wolf! I suppose you think you do the whole thing, eh? Well, I did as much as you did, and I didn't do nothing. 
What do you always want to tell lies for? Well, I could have got him a long time ago, but I thought I'd let you shoot him, Pancho. That's me, because I always want to do the right thing. You know, I, with me, it's always 50-60. Yeah? Yeah. And Tombstone double-crossed us both and got him himself. You know, you ain't such a bad fellow after all. I have seen wars. Yeah? Where? Yeah, I don't know. But anyhow, let's bury the hammer. Huh? All right, Pancho. Hey, ten cuidado con los dedos. I want to see you stupid. No me told me he makes me carry la mano. Come on, let's win. Oh, you're going to call to be a sissy. You mean the chambermaid, huh? No, I don't want it the liver stable. <laughs> what did you do with your gun? Trade them for these boots. From now on, I'm going in for romance. I ain't gonna ride no more horses unless it's in a parade. Me too. Now, from now on, I'm going no more fight, no more shooting, and no more guns. I'm going to be a gentleman. And I'm going up in the world. Oh, open. I want to go up in the world. <laughs> 